I'm going to apply this all to my face. So what we're going to do... Go down the bridge of the nose. I have like a blackhead gold mine there, so. I completely missed the container. Okay. Big beefy Bertha back in business. Let's go. Really gotta blend that. Blend it all across the nose. Because your nose is like the red thing. This is Bertha's first use and she is tan. Like Caribbean Island Vacation Cruise tan. Sometimes you just gotta- Ow! I pulled my hair! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drag it. The mirror is very low down if you couldn't already tell, so I'm trying to look at it. This is not the best of lighting, especially when looking down, so it might not look the best. Rib and black eyes. Not, not black eyes. Under circle eyes. Under circular eye. Yeah, that. You know what I'm talking about. Kind of pinch it to get that eye shape. And then you just kind of. Or you can take the point of your uh, egg McMuffin thing. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it's an eye hooker. Now you decide to surface. That's great. Okay. Another another one. So mm, that's not blended, is it? Okay. So I think we did okay with blending. Now we're gonna put water eggy away. Oh god, she doesn't fit. Big Bertha has gained weight, so she don't fit. Oh, 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 yeah, queen, she did it, yeah. Dip into our... I have my Rimmel London Stay Matte Mattifying Mousse Powder for the Libre Mocassin Tea. 
right here. It's number 001, transparent. And um, a lot of people use like the little pads to do this. I don't. This stuff is uh, a little messy. So I'm just gonna have to lay down a little thing there and uh, get uh, your brush. I don't. These don't have numbers. It's just the model ones. It's like tagged me by with me. But it's just, you know, a brush set. So I'm just going to very heavily dip. That is too heavy. I'm going to heavily dip and I'm going to apply under the eye. Expect fallout. Just gently apply. I like to use the brush because it packs it on better than anything else. So, you're just trying to set your concealer in place because it makes you feel like you're hot. And then I'm just gonna dab. Okay. And then we're just gonna go right down that nose. Just basically anywhere you can apply concealer, is where you're gonna want to um put it. And yeah, so this is basically um like your actual base makeup. Uh, a lot of people tend to wipe this off immediately. Don't I? Actually, don't listen to me. Just, just watch me. And bada boom, bada boom, no mask. Except it's falling off of my face. That's normal. <laughs> Water will clean that right up. It's just, it's like, it's not like spilling paint. It's like spilling, I don't know, confection sugar or regular sugar. You just wipe it right off. So, <laughs> next is contouring and bronzing. I'm going to be using the Jim Charles X Marcy palette, used and abused. Um, I'm going to be using this shade right here called Punch Me. It's definitely a warmer shade, brown, um, so I think it will definitely work for contouring. I'm a bougie girl now. So... In the process. It's gonna look harsh, but you have to blend it out. I usually put a little bit of canvas and flashback, which are the white and the skin tone colors, on with it. So I'm just gonna wipe that off right now. So the circular motions. So, circular, that's harsh, but I'll blend that out a little bit. There's really no secret to blending, it's just, it's blending. And I have very chubby cheeks, they're just like, no, oh, chipmunks, they're there, and they're not going anywhere, so. It's very odd to do this side, it's just like, mm. So, um, I'm gonna go blend that off camera. Hey, um, we're back. I blended that out. Now it's time to do my, my, my nostril contour. So, to do that, I'm gonna take this really, really thin, thin brush from the same set as the other ones. And I'm gonna just very lightly dip into Punch Me canvas and then flashback. Um, don't mind the dinosaur that's holding this up. These three are my neutral shades I tend to use for this. So I'll try them if I can. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go down 
the NARS. It's, it's kind of difficult to control this. Oh, let's move down and let's move around. And back under. This doesn't look good now, but I'll blend it again off camera. Because blending takes a while. But let's do our home contour first. So we're going to dip into the same shades and go across our jawline to make it look more. I have a butt chin, so. This helps in that as well. The highlighter will also help to kind of um, help it. I'm not very good at eye tattoo, I think. Um, I'm going to take. Where are you? Still got it. So we're going to take this brush right here. It's got our some orange pigment on it. And I'm just going to blend out my nose contour and we will be right back. Okay, I'm, that's uh, blended pretty well. I wiped off all the setting powder. It didn't really make a difference, but I also put it on kind of late. But, um,. Yeah, so next is blush. I'm going to use the biggest brush possible because I don't, blush scares me because I always feel like I have way too much on. So we're going to be dipping in to Sister Mary and literally all in the same. Girl, get it together, we're filming. So I'm dipping into those three shades. Tap off, test on paper before you apply to skin because any you apply, it's going to be pigmented. Don't think it won't. So, other cheek. Also, let's go across the nose with this. Oh, the smile. Need blush. So that's a that's that. Now we're going to be doing highlighter. I'm gonna take the same one that I used for blending out my contour, and I'm going to dip into a little bit of ring light. So good and face. I mix them all together. I also add some more sister in with that to get a really nice glow. So I'm just gonna apply that to the cheek. Like that. Our uh, night back there is hitting it and it looks gorgeous. Nice. Okay. Um, that one needs some more. Some rouge. <laughs> That's rouge. And then we're going to take the same brush that we use for contouring and we're going to dip into those three four colors again and we're going to go down the bridge of our nose and literally right there so we have kind of a highlighted nose and right there as you could go and then you're going to want to take a bit of a angled brush kind of like that and then we're going to dip into the three color, four, four colors again. And you're going to want to apply that underneath your brow bone or on the brow bone, technically. And really blend that out for a real one. Highlighting is done, which means that next eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Um, I would do a rainbow look, but that, mm, I'm going to be doing a sunset look that I've done before, and I really like the way, excuse me, sir, <laughs> I really like the way that it turned out, so we're going to be doing that today, so, um, first, actually, we got to do brows. I don't do anything with my brows, it's kind of 
comb them. I kind of uh, go back and forth, comb them this way. And then I go upward with them. And then I go to the angle. And then they just kind of look better, I feel. So, it makes me feel better. That's what it matters. I'm going to be taking that same brush that I use for everything. Good brush. You can trust this one. And I'm going to be dipping... Okay, don't mind me. I don't know the names of all of these yet. But I'm dipping into Tune. Kind of yellowish shade here. Kind of doing that. And then I'm going to apply that into the inner corner of my eye. Kind of blend it out from there all across the brow bone but not in the lid or the crease and then i'm going to take a little bit of b it's this um darker yellowy shade i'm going to apply that right next to it and blend it in with it wherever tune went B is going in a little more. If you add too much, that's fine. Uh, what I do is I just add a little bit of white to our canvas, which is the neutral tone. Don't worry, I'm going to clean this up after and actually make it look, you know, okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to dip into uh, 518 right here, this orangey shade. It's kind of a brighter orange, it's not really, you know, a burnt orange. So we're going to apply that right next to that. Like that. Just really blend, because I don't want it to be bright orange, but I do want it to be there. I'm actually going to switch brushes, and I'm going to go in with this kind of packing brush. Go back in with the orange and just kind of... Almost just draw like a straight line because we can go back in and blend that. We're done. And then we're going to take a bit of. Sorry guys, so off camera I kind of blended and packed 518 in. Um, yeah, so now we're going to dip into a little bit of rusted. It's kind of yellow, or not yellow, reddish, orange ish, kind of burnt rusted color uh, right next to 518 actually and we're gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of put it right there we don't want to put a ton because it's kind of more in the pink family than the red so a pile of clean brushes and then we're gonna blend this all across into the corner wherever you have to put it actually and then we're going to dip into a little bit of You're Kidding, which is right next to Shuck. So it's this darker red color. And pat that off, because reds can be very vibrant. -y. And then you're going to want to just apply that into the outer corner of your eye. That doesn't look good, but it's going to get blended and it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to, I really don't have like a bigger, actually bigger brush, so I'm going to be taking this giant one and I'm going to blend that, buff that out with this giant brush. I'm going to dip a little bit more into Tune just to blend it out a lot. And then once we have that sorted out, I am going to... I'm going to take a little bit of a napkin, a nappy chin, and I'm just going to go in and kind of clean her up. See how much extra pigment was on there? <laughs> Wasted. So, let me stop creaking, bench. I'm going to continue in the outer eye. And there you have it. A little sunset-like look. So now we're going to head on to 
mascara, which I can't exactly use it in or I'll sell it for. It's going away. That's the sound. Mascara. Mascara. Mm-mm-mm. Mascara. Mm-mm-mm. Let's go. Oh, go team. So, here we have Maybelline New York Lash Sen Sensational Curvature Hydro Waterproof. <laughs> the other said it's a hydrofuge. Um, this odd shape. Oh, it has a hair on it. <laughs> or an eyelash. I don't know. Oh my god, it's pulling out my eyelashes. It's actually blue. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> I'm just getting funnier. I get more of a hoot the more videos we do. So, got that, which is I typically use for after. It's very bendy, and it typically gets in my eye. And then I have my normal e.l.f. Uh, lash extending mascara. Just a typical mascara that I've had for a little while. Oh, that one was good. So, I still need the mirror. Gosh darn it, why do I do this? <laughs> so, I'm going to be applying my mascara. I'm sorry if you can't actually, like, see it. Um, I don't want to poke myself in the eye. But I just, my eyelashes are already pretty long. So, I don't want to add a ton of... I know my eyelashes kind of clump together. That's why I like to use the other one because it helps with that. Oh, I can't apply mascara. Too bad we can't get any big beefy Bertha bubbles out of this. Go check out our other slime video tomorrow. So I'm going to do the other eye. So... Now we're going to go with our Lash Sensational Curvature here. I like how now you decide to zoom in. So. So. It's a nice little shape you got going there. I'm going to take this side so that it kind of curves with my eyelashes. And I'm just going to kind of go in and do on kind of untangle them it's like it's like an eyelash comb i actually do have an eyelash comb why aren't i using that huh i'm going to it's the same thing i use for my eyebrows but <laughs> same diff right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this and we're just gonna go up through there is a piece of my blanket it's shedding so Sojourn at Kate's. I may have added a tad bit more to my hair. So what I do is I'm just going to take my finger and kind of do that. So I, ow! That like popped my wrong side. Pop my lid. Sometimes going down helps too. This eye is winning in the eyelash region. Next is lips. I have pretty chopped lips um so i'm going to be searching do your job man so i'm gonna oh, poor. i'm gonna start off with my hello bello lip balm citrus moisturizer safety steel safety steel safety seal and uh Oh, I'm using the hair. Yeah, there we go. And then, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my um, Jason Aron Joy color. I'm going to dab that on. It kind of stinks. I mean, it's like a good smell. But to finish off the lips and to finish off this look, because that lip color is very neutral, I can't exactly go with this. What we're gonna do is gonna finish off this look by taking a little bit 
of rusted and I'm going to apply this just to kind of match the eye look. And with the chapstick, it's definitely going to help disperse it um, quite a bit. And then here we go with that. And it's going to help just kind of match with the eye. And that was the look with Paul so I'll start with this. I really like that palette. Um, so, I don't know, as I do, you get my comments. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like the makeup look, subscribe. So, uh, makeup is going to be a thing. I'm just going to go with this. I feel like I've been talking about this a lot.